All right, guys, you guys have to learn this trick if you use Ningguan. Look at how fast she is throwing her normals. As rapid, right after the other. Hello everyone, Air here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to build Ningguan. In all my how to build guide, Aside from just showing you guys what to equip with the character, I also show you guys how to use them properly, um, such as going through their talent and constellation. So before I start with those, I'm going to show you guys what you saw in the in uh, intro, how to attack with her faster. So first I'm going to show you guys a regular attack speed. So I'm going to click, I'm going to attack it as fast as possible. You guys can clear hear my mouse click. I'm doing it rapidly, but you can see that is not nearly as fast as what I did in the intro. So this is what happens if I use that trick. You can see. It almost doubles the attack speed. Okay. So of course you can do it by casting your dash. But you will consume stamina by doing that. So what I basically did is, um, depends on what platform you pay, play on, but it doesn't matter, honestly. As long as you're holding a direction when you're attacking. For example, right now I'm going to hold forward on attack. Yeah. I'm canceling it. You can see I'm slightly walking forward, but if you do this, well, if you use some practice and do it close to perfectly, she can almost not walk. Like that. But a little bit. Sometimes I can do it at the timing where she is close to not walking out like this. It's kind of hard. Right, like this. So it takes a lot of practice to do that. Anyways, so I don't know what you call it. I always just call it the attack cancel. If you play fighting games, calling attack cancel makes the most sense. But there's the trick. Hold it. You can do any direction you like. So it, this is especially useful for specific characters such as Ningguan, maybe Klee, um, characters who throw stuff, characters who don't need to use, um, for example, if you use Fischl, it's not really good because you're just going to do one hit. So that's not very good. Xiang was also not very good. But for characters with um, slow attack speed and, I can't say slow attack speed, characters who throw stuff, it's really good because you can just keep throwing it faster and faster. Okay, so now let's go through the constellation and talent. Okay, talent number one, normal attack. Normal attack shoots gems that deal geo damage. Upon hit, this grants Ningguan one star jade. So I'll show you guys what this means visually. Whenever you hit an opponent, you can accumulate one star jade. And you can stack up to three with your normal attack. Consumes a certain amount of stamina to fire off a giant gem that deals geo damage. If Ningguan has any star jades, unleashing a charge attack will cause the star jades to be fired at the enemy as well, dealing additional damage. So when you have star jades around you, when you do a charge attack, it will attack with you for additional damage. Okay, talent number two, jade screen here. So Ningguan creates a jade screen, which deals AOE geo damage. So this screen is like a wall, blocks enemies' projectiles. So stand behind it when you're fighting characters with projectiles. And the screen is based of her max HP, which means the more HP she has, the stronger the screen is. And you can only have it have one of the screen in the battlefield per time. You cannot have you cannot summon more than one of it. So if you do have your um, screen cooldown ready and you want to use another one, the previous one will disappear. The cooldown is I would say um, average twelve seconds, pretty good, and then whatever HP inherit. Of, of her uh, max HP, skill damage pretty high. This is currently level 5, so the higher it is, the stronger it gets and more damage it does. 
Talent number three, Star Shatter. That's her elemental burst. Basically, she throws a lot of um, stones, her jades, that deals a massive geo damage. Cooldown is a very low, and the energy cost is also very low, in my opinion. 12 seconds, quite low, and energy cost 40 seconds is amazing. Okay, damage per gem is 115% at level 5. So nothing too much to explain here. Now let's take a look at talent 4. Talent number 4, Backup Plan. This one is great. So when Ningguan has Star Jades, her charge attack does not consume stamina. Doesn't matter if you have 1 Star Jade, 2 Star Jades, or 3 Star Jades. You don't need stamina to use your charge attack. Here I'm going to show you guys with a Jade attack, it consumes no stamina, and without Jade attack, it'll consume stamina. Which means you can always use your charge attack without any stamina in an actual battle, especially if you have the technique that I showed you in the beginning, you can do something like this. Damage comparison. Can also show you guys pre deployed shield geo damage bonus 33. Walk through it 45. 12% exactly. Okay, Talon 6 here is basically a, a map that shows you where the um, ores are. So for example, right here, oops, you can tell where the ore are. So you can just actually go find it like this. It actually makes my day much easier. like that. Too bad it doesn't show you if it's on, on top or at the bottom, so you kind of have to navigate it yourself. Okay, now let's take a look at Constellation. Constellation level 1. I think this is required if you want to make her as a main DPS. Without this, she's a little bit weak to become a main DPS. So when a normal attack hits, it deals AoE damage. It's great, especially in Spiral Abyss, because there's a lot of enemies and they stick quite close together. Constellation 2 here, when J screen is shattered, its cooldown re reset can occur once every 6 seconds. So this one's also very, very strong. So this can probably only proc when J screen gets shattered by an enemy when you're blocking projectiles. So when that shatters, you can open another one right away. Constellation 3, nothing much to talk about, basically um, raising your level cap for your elemental burst. Okay, ele uh, Constellation 4 here, J screen increases nearby character's elemental resist by 10%. I don't have it unlocked, but if you have it unlocked, you can check by this. So I'm right next to a J screen. So if you go to details, these should these resists here should all have at least 10%. Constellation 5, increasing your level cap for J screen. And last but not least, we have Constellation 6. I don't have it unlocked, but from what I'm reading, it sounds very, very OP. So when you use her, when you use her elemental burst, she will now get 7 star J's instead of 3. Again, from normal attack, you can accumulate up to 3, but now you can get 7 whenever you use Elemental Burst. So your next charge attack should deal a lot of damage. When you level up Ningguan, um, when you level Ascension, her bonus stats is Geo Damage Bonus. 
which means that you want to build off of her um, geo damage bonus. If you, you know, what I just went through with um, her talent and stuff, basically all her selling point is geo damage. Okay, before we go into uh, talking about her gears, we're going to talk about the stats that you want to look for when you're looking for your um, artifacts and, of course, your weapon. So first thing you want to look for, the main stats would be attack, flat, and attack percentage. Second would be crit rate. Third would be crit damage. Crit rate before crit damage, as always, because if you don't have high enough crit rate, your crit damage will never proc. Okay, so... She has two different builds, main DPS and kind of support slash DP, uh, sl DPS slash support. She can kind of support because you're probably just going to switch her in, use her uh, J screen, use her um, elemental burst, and then probably call it a day. But um, anyway, so let's talk about the main DPS would be attack, crit rate, and crit damage. And if you're going to use her as a you know what i said is like dps slash support you probably do want to look for attack energy recharge and definitely hp so the screen uh, j screen is stronger but overall overall i suggest building her um as a main dps with attack crit rate crit damage and then sub stats you want to look for energy recharge because she has very low cooldown and very low um energy costs um, for myself i put a lot of energy recharge on my character and I literally can use um, my star glitter every time when the cooldown is um, over. I can use it every 12 seconds. It's actually great. And HP wise, like it's bonus, but my J screen, I usually combo with my elemental burst. So the J screen usually is still active when I do that. Recommended five stars weapon. The base attack, I mean their base stats, they're all giving attack. So I'm not gonna talk about the base stats. I'm gonna talk about the sub stats, which is the second stats. So this lost prayer here gives crit rate based on 2.2%. So this one's good because she needs crit rate and attack. So um, I'll quickly, briefly go over the um, effect of the weapon. So increases movement speed by 10% when in battle, gaining 8% elemental damage bonus every four seconds. Max four stats lasts until the character falls or leaves combat so i think this is okay it's not like extremely good i would say you use it because she doesn't really need elemental damage bonus she doesn't really well she can combo to do the crystallizing stuff but uh i would say attack is a little bit more important like at least the effect i don't think it's very appealing for me so if, I would say if you have a really high attack from your other artifacts, um, you have enough crit damage, but you're lacking crit rate, this one can definitely help you. Okay, next one we have, we have Sky Ward here. Um, attack gives you percentage as substats and increases elemental bonus by 12%. Normal attacks hits have a 50% chance to earn the favor of the clouds. I don't actually know what that means uh, which actively seek out nearby enemies to attack for 15 seconds dealing 160 percent attack damage can only occur once every 30 seconds so from my understanding i don't have this weapon but from my understanding uh, it seems like there's another extra object there that's going to help you attack that lasts for 15 seconds so it sounds like you will have extra um, projectile in this case so the base stats is good so usually when i look for a weapon i look for the base stats first because it's pretty hard to come by especially when it comes to five stars um weapons okay let's talk about the last five stars weapon here memory of thus i think this one fits her the best so it gives her very high um attack percentage as um substats and then the effect is great increases shield strength by 20 percent. she can Mm, she most likely can create a shield in every battle with crystallize so it increases the strength by 20 percent so when you hit an opponent it increases attack by four percent for eight seconds and max five stats which means she can get up to 20 percent stats and don't forget that with her jade screen that's another 10 percent geo damage so that all adds up and while protected by a shield which 
you know, when you see a crystal crystallize in orb out there, a crystal, grab that. This attack increase effect is increased by 100%. So I think this fits her the best, especially if you're using her as a main DPS. It just gives you an insane amount of damage. Now let's talk about the four stars weapon. First off, we have Phaneas of Codex here. The substats, I like it a lot. Energy recharge percentage. Like I said, if you're building her just to switch her in for um her star glitter and J screen. I think this one's really, really good. So crits hits have a 60% chance to generate a small amount of elemental particles, which will regenerate six energy for the character. Can only occur once every 12 seconds. It's good if your artifacts have no energy recharge substats, because her energy cost is very, very low. You don't need a lot of energy recharge percentage. If you have a lot already on your artifacts, I think this is overkill to a point that you is kind of not necessary. So it really depends on your artifact substats or even main stats, I should say. Next up, we have Eye of Perception, which I think is her best four stars weapon. So the substats gives her a very high attack percentage and it's higher than any of the five stars weapon out there. And the effect, I think it fits her really, really well, especially if you have the first Constellation 1 unlocked. Because uh, don't forget that the Constellation 1 gives you AoE damage when your orb hits, when your Jade hits. So here, normal and charge attacks have a 50% chance to fire a ball of Perception, dealing 240% attack as damage. So this bow can bounce between enemies a maximum of four times. This effect can occur once every 12 seconds. So you're now going to get two, two AOE damage happening. So when it bounces, it'll also deal AOE damage because of the Jade. No, the Jade does AOE damage. And then this ball of perception is also doing AOE damage because it bounces. It makes sense. I don't have the, I just got this one. Actually, I literally just got this weapon before I made this video. So I'm very excited to use it. And let's go to the next one. Okay, next we have the Wissith. I think that's how we pronounce it. So this one gives you crit damage. So if you have um, artifacts that you have a lot of crit rate, attack percent already, this can fill you with the uh, crit damage. I don't really understand exactly what the effect means. This is the one I actually use, but I never really noticed the difference of it. So when a character takes the feel, they will gain a random theme song for 10 seconds. So I think when a character takes the feels mean you switch her in. So if she's your main DPS, you probably have to switch her out and in to get these effects. And then you'll get attack increased by 60%. And then your area, whatever that is, increases all elemental damage by 48%. And the interlude elemental mastery is increased by 240. Okay, so Everything is increased. So it, this one is also very good, but I'm going to definitely switch to Eye of Perception because I have really high crit damage already, but I lack a little bit of attack percentage. Okay, last but not least, we have this Royal Grimmore. I don't even know if, if this is English or not. Anyway, so this gives you attack percentage at substats, but it's not very high. But I would say this one is pretty decent too. I would say this is probably the second best one fits her the most. So upon damage an opponent, that's where you accumulate your jade as well. Increases crit rate by 8%, max 5 stats. That is uh, 5 times 8 is 40% of crit rate. <laughs> and whenever a crit hit, removes all stacks. So I think this one fits her quite um, nicely. Okay, now let's take a look at artifacts. If you want to build her as a pure DPS, Gladiator 2 set is really good because Gladiator 2 set gives you attack plus 18%. And so far, there's another set that can do that, but this is the only set that you can farm um, 5 stars artifact as of right now. Okay, Retracing Bolide increases the effectiveness of shields by 35% for 2 pieces. So 4 pieces gain an additional 40% normal and charge attack damage while under the protection of a shield. If you do believe you are able to obtain a shield every time in a battle, I think this is possibly the best set for her as a DPS. Okay, now we have Arche Petra. Gain a 50% geo damage bonus. I'm telling you this 2 set of the Archaic Petra 
it's probably um i would say it's like a must must use kind of thing it, even though i did recommend the retracing belide but this one here because she is her bonus stats is based off of geo damage so this gives her extra 15 percent geo damage so it makes the most sense that you have at least two set of this okay when it comes to four set it might be a little bit um confusing so i'm going to explain it because i've tested this upon obtaining a crystal created through a geo elemental reaction which is crystallized all party members gain 30 per 35 percent elemental damage bonus to that particular element for 10 seconds only one form of elemental damage bonus can be gained in this matter at any one time so first you have to use her to create this crystallize this crystal and when you pick it up she has to be the one who picks it up whoever has this set and four to pick it up to have this effect so for example you made a electro crystal you pick up the electro and if you if you switch in any other character who is not electro they do not get this 35 percent elemental damage bonus so if you pick electro you will have to put in maybe um razor because she uh, he's electro then you get this bonus effect so it might be hard to um it might be hard to meet this requirement during a battle because you probably can't think too fast and as far as i know only these two bosses will drop um geo crystals so you ningguan herself will not benefit from this attack damage bonus Okay, last but not least, these two are also worth mentioning. The resolution set and the martial set here. The resolution set gives you attack plus 18% as two sets. And the four set increase charge attack crit rate by 30%. But unfortunately, currently, you cannot farm the five stars version of this. And then the last set I'm going to talk about is martial set here. It increases normal attack and charge attack damage by 15% when it's two set. This is great. If this one has a five stars um, artifact, I'm definitely going to use this. And then four set is also perfect for Ningguan. After using elemental skill, which is your jade screen, increases normal attack and charge attack damage by 25% for eight seconds. And her jade screen is 12 seconds. Basically, you can always kind of have this extra bonus damage okay in conclusion it depends how you play her and how she fits in your team if you are using her as a main dps i will recommend using archaic archaic petra to set gains the 15 percent geo damage bonus and then you want to fit another set which most likely would be gladiator for the extra attack percentage however if you are using her as a semi dps semi support the full Petra set can benefit uh, Ningguan herself and her teammates. Alright everyone, that is it for this video. I hope you guys have a better understanding of how to use this character and how to build this character. I have other characters build guide that you can check out at in the outro or in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.